welcome to a new series I'm doing. It's called How to Make a Stop Motion. This is episode one or part one. And in this episode, I will show, be showing you um, what you need and the like, new techniques. So here is what you need to make a stop motion. It can be Lego, it can be Transformers, it can be just clothes, it can be anything you want. But a lot of people do Lego and Transformers ones, and that's what I do. Or, you, or you, I, I do, I do car ones. Um, car ones are quite fun because they look like they drive them around. So I'll show you what you need for um, this stop motion. Um, the main thing you need is a camera. There, here is a Samsung camera um, ES74. It's a digital camera. It's not <clears throat> amazing, but it will do for stop motions. But I'm holding a better camera in my hand right now, so it doesn't really matter. Hello. But um, um, I'll give a link in the description for um, ca simple cameras like this that will work, but and also better cameras like like um, um, the professionals use, like the ones that professionals use, which are a lot of a lot of money and only get those if you're really willing to make stop motions so there's first you need a camera next you need a script I have a book, um, a notebook whatever and a pen you can use like Microsoft Word um, if you want but I, I use a notebook because I just write like when I think of ideas I just Instead of just turning my computer on, I just write them in here. And <clears throat> what you um, you should do um, is first write if you're writing like a movie, like um, like you want it to be quite long. You should write um, a kind of a storyline, like the main things that happen in the film. Don't don't write don't write what what the characters say. Right, like um, the guy gets in the car, then he drives to a hospital and and finds out that there's a bad guy in there. That write that, and then write a script. If you you know you can do all of this if you want. You don't have to write a script, but write, write a script and then write the script saying the guy looks at his watch and goes oh no, and then runs to his car and drives really fast. Go get get out and get into the hospital and, and says to the to the hospital guy where is it or whatever. But th this is my script for a, a, um, a, a Lego film that I was gonna do, but I can't be bothered. But um, you can the way I'll I'll show you the way to write scripts in the next episode. I think the 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 actual way to write scripts in one of the episodes. But um, for now, just just write like write it like you're writing a story in in school that you wrote the story in school. Just have a notebook, and then and then if you want to make the film even more professional, write a storyboard. I haven't written any storyboards, but the way to do it is get some paper, draw draw um squares, then draw a picture in in each square, and it, and then you just draw what 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 you want to the the camera angles to be in your stop motion. So the next thing you need is a tripod. I have a mini tripod here and a big one here. So I would I would say have two tripods because um, one mini one because if you're making a Lego one or um, a Bionicle one or Transformers, I haven't got any Transformers. I couldn't find any, so I just had a bite on a cold. But if you have these, then that's a good size to um, film the things. Um, but if you've got this big tripod here, that's a bit too high, and you have to go like that. It's a bit too high. But you can also you can use this big tripod um, <coughs> to um, to do high shots, and you would need you would need one tripod, one small tripod. But if you want, get two, and that's good. And I'll give a link in the description to tripods that you can buy cheap ones and expensive ones. The next thing that it's one of the most important ones 
is the actual characters. Lego character Lego characters, Bionicles, Transformers. Um yeah, you need those to do stop motion. Um the final thing is a computer. I think. Oh no it isn't. You need a computer. Um Windows 7 would be best. But if you have like Windows 8 or Windows XP or something, that'll be that'll that'll probably work. If you have Mac, then everything will work. But I'm not doing a tutorial on Mac. I'm only doing it on Windows, so wait, anyway, it'll be the same really. Just editing will be different. A, li a, a light. Why would you need a light? Well, to, you know, if I turn my, if I turn my light on, then it would look better. I and mean, this light broken for some reason. That's all you need to make a stop motion, computer, toys, tripod, something to write ideas on, a computer or a notebook and a camera. That's kind of all you need. So now, hope you enjoyed this episode. The next episode I will be showing you how to write scripts. If you don't want to know how to write scripts, you already know then you can skip to the next episode i hope you enjoy this episode